Hey guys, welcome back to the project. This is going to be episode number three, and today we're going to accomplish a few things. One, I'm going to take a borescope, stick it up there, see what we can find. I don't know if it's going to be helpful for this project, but just so you guys can uh, see how to do that and what it does, because I've never done it from the bottom like this. I've only done it through the spark plug tubes in a different car. Um, and then thanks to one of you guys leaving a great comment, I'm gonna hook the PeeWiz up to this thing with a new battery installed so that I can see what kind of codes we had before when this thing died. So that when we uh, hook it back up, we, won't, we will know that those codes were already there and we didn't introduce them. So thanks for that idea, fantastic. Uh, this is the state we left it in, oil's out, uh, sump is dropped. So let's get to the borescope. So this one here from Depth Tech, or however you pronounce it, is my uh, go-to one. It's got a 90 degree camera and a straight ahead camera and lights on there. So uh, yeah, I reviewed this before. I'll put a link to it here. If you guys need one of these, pretty cheap, super handy to have for all kinds of things on your car. I'll fire it up here in a second and uh, we're just gonna stick it up here and look around because like I said, I've never done this either. So we'll uh, see what kind of things we can see. And it does record video, so that's what you will be seeing. And I'll do a little uh, voiceover, I guess, and try to tell you what I think I'm seeing. All right, here we are as we journey into the engine. All right, I really don't have a whole lot to, uh, <laughs> to announce over this video. I'm just going to let you guys watch it. Uh, Watch as much as you want, skip over it if you want, because, you know, honestly, I have no idea what I'm looking at here. So if you guys see anything that sticks out, of course, please comment below in the comment section. But uh, yeah, for the most part, I'm just starting out going in with the front facing camera. So the camera is on the tip of the thing as it goes in and uh, just kind of poking around, see how far I can get in there. The Towards the end of this, um, or probably the second half of these, I'm using the 90 degree facing camera and I try to kind of go in and I, you'll, you'll be able to tell it's the 90 degree camera because I start rotating it um, to kind of look around everywhere. So uh, yeah, this goes on for, mm, I don't know probably have four or five minutes of this kind of stuff so uh either enjoy or skip but uh yeah i'll shut up now
All right, that's a completely new view of the engine for me. So honestly, I had no idea what I was looking at. So I don't know if some of you know, and if that was helpful, uh, I didn't see any good things in there. Maybe you guys saw some bad things. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, let's move on and check those codes. But first, real quick, before I lower this, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reinstall this down here because when I remove the engine, it's gonna be sitting on this table and sitting on that there. So uh, let me just throw that back on. And no, I'm not gonna clean it up and reapply a gasket because uh, I might have to take it off again later. So don't let me forget that later, guys. All right, car's down. Time to replace that battery. Use my little uh, hood holding up stick since these shocks are dead. Just ordered some of those on Amazon. I won't show the swap out, but here is the original battery. And sorry, Eric, you waited three months to come get your free battery here. This is the one that came out of my Cayman 987. So uh, I'm gonna use that, throw that in here. So with the new battery installed, let's see what the ignition does. Yeah, oil's low. All right, P is hooked up to my Rio Toro awesome case here. And uh, got the application up and running. So let's see what happens with DME. Let's go to fault memory and uh, no val. And yes. Battery voltage test. Drum roll. All memories not set. Oh, bummer. Unfortunately, I guess he uh, probably cleared all the codes before restarting it. So, yeah, it was a good idea. If you are doing this, then yeah, I would definitely suggest trying it out. All right, guys, in the next video, we're going to go uh, behind the scenes a little bit, see the secret sauce, how I figure out all of these projects. Not so secret. The service manual, uh, which ironically, this is the only thing that Shop Dog has ever chewed up when she was a puppy, and it was like two days after I bought it. Still works, though. And the uh, 101 projects for your Porsche Boxster, which I'm not, like, sponsored by these guys or anything, which uh, I've sold them probably hundreds of these books. But uh, yeah, between these two things and the full shop manual downloaded into PDFs. All right, so uh, the engine one looks appropriate. Let's fire this thing up. And here we have all of our technical information. So uh, I'm going to look through this and find out how to remove an engine. All right, so we got engine part one, section 10 here. Removing engine, M96 slash 20 with manual transmission. All right, we don't want that. Removing engine with Tiptronic transmission so yes this is what we want 1033 page one all right here we go so these little page number things are down in the bottom right hand corner 1033 page one so i'm gonna do some research see what they say well there's all the special tools that i need that i don't have So that in conjunction with this book, here is the table of contents. I have highlighted in yellow all of the projects in this book that I have done and made a video for. So it looks like we're gonna get to knock out project eight later on and project 11, engine swaps. Engine swap, three wrenches and only 150 hours and $10,000. <sighs> we're gonna try to do that cheaper. So again, I recommend this book, link to it in my description to buy it. And uh, yeah, this is the one we're gonna concentrate on.
So you see the benefits of being a subscriber. You get to skip all of this stuff and just watch how to do it. So uh, also YouTube just added this super thanks button down below in case you're interested in supporting the channel financially, it would be much appreciated. Feel free to leave a dollar, $5, $10, whatever you think this content has been worth to you. Oh, and also if there is a specific engine that you want to see, a lot of people have commented what they hope that I do. Uh, you know, donor engines are always appreciated. If you send me an engine, that's the one this car is gonna get. All right, that's it for this episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching. This weekend, I'm starting to take this thing out. And of course, lots more videos to come. Follow along, enjoy, I'll see you soon.